could say he was a brat But really where's the harm in that? Mom and dad, I'll be back When he wasn't in his room He was tormenting his neighbor June Mom and dad, I'll be back Mom and dad, I'll be back Mom? Dad? I'll be back! Acme Employment Agency, how may I help you? Next! Fantastic. Thanks very much, appreciate your help. I said next! Talk to you later. So what's your profession? I was a teacher at Wallace Junior High. Oh wow, that was a great school. They burnt down. I have something in Davidson County at Elroy High. They need an assistant principal. Excellent! You'd be perfect for that job. Thank you! No problem at all. Next. I said next. Acme Employment Get your butt over here. here. What's your name and profession? My name is Joshua McDaniels. I just graduated from the university. I have a degree in computer engineering. Oh, we have a smart one here. They need someone over at Technologies. Go see Mr. Kendrick. Tell him Big Bertha sent you. Wow. Thank you, Big Bertha. That's Miss Bertha to you, young man. Oh, sorry. Miss Bertha. Mm-hmm. Now roll along, child. Next. I said next. How tall are you? What's your name and profession? My name is Casey Cooper. I'm a car dealer. What you talking about? New or used cars? What? I said new or used cars. Oh, used. Well, I don't have anything for a used car salesman. Do you have any other experience? What did you do before you sold used cars? Nothing really. I was an actor when I was young. An actor? Yeah, right. Now what did you act in? Never mind. It's not important. Oh, wait a minute. Are you Casey Cooper, that child star? Yeah. I thought you were dead. No, I'm still here. Just looking for a job. Hey, y'all, look who we got here. It's little Billy from that sitcom. I'll be back. Looks like you never did go back. <laughs> Do you have anything for me or not? Well, I guess not then. Thanks for nothing. Now hang on a second. I don't have anything for a former child actor or a used car salesman, but there is something listed here that doesn't require any skills. It's some scientific project at the Department of- I'll take it. Okay then, but wait, you have to say it. Say what? You know, say it. <sighs> well, okay. Mom, Dad, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name yes, is... Yes, Mr. Cooper, we've been expecting you. I thought you were dead. Figures. Well, here I am. I was told to say yes, that... Yes, yes, Mr. Cooper, Big Bertha sent you. Well, then, okay. So, what exactly am you I... You are here as part of an experiment. We have developed a new form of transportation. Behind me are two transportation pods. One pod takes you to the past, the other to the future. How far back you go, or how far into the future you go, are up to you. For your participation, you shall be rewarded with wealth to last you a lifetime. You're kidding, right? No, Mr. Cooper, I am not kidding. Wait, you're telling me that if I choose to participate in your experiment, I can go back and start my career over again? Yes, Mr. Cooper. That is correct. Is it safe? Ask him. Wow, what the heck is that? That is Mr. Roth. He went to the past. He didn't look like that when he left. I'll skip the past. So if I go to the future and I come back, will I look like that? No. If you go to the past, you can come back. If you go to the future, you cannot come back. I don't understand. If I go backward, I can come forward, but if I go forward, I can't come backward? That is correct. Hmm. I have nothing to lose. I'll go to the future. Let's do it. Yes, Mr. Cooper. We knew you would. Please, go with Dr. Hammett. Thank you. Good luck traveling, Mr. Cooper. Thank you.
Be back. 